Hi everyone, welcome back to the my channel. My name is Anil, and in this Laravel 7 video tutorial, we will learn about the form, how we can submit the form. So, first of all, let's see the points that we are going to cover in this video. We will make a view file. Here we will write the HTML form. Then we have to make a controller. In this controller, we will get the submitted data. And after that, we have to make the routing for view and controller both. And at the last, we will get the all form values in the controller. Guys, if you don't know about the view routing and the controller, I'm going to recommend you that you can watch our previous video. Link is given in the description box. Now, now let's go for a first point. First, create a view and just write some code for HTML um, form. So let's go inside the resources view and let's create a new file and new file can be named with the user dot blade dot php right and here you can just write here let's say h1 tag in the h1 tag i'm just going to write here user account right so you can just make user capital now let's make a simple form in the form define the action so action name can be like user controller it's totally depend on the your router and i will make the router for controller with the same name so after that let's decide the method so in my case method can be post now let's define some fields like um, name can be email right and after that let's put some br tag so that we can just space get the space between the uh, input fields and let's define the name equal to password and type can also be password right so i'm not going to focusing on the style of the form so i'm just going to show you the functionality so i'm not going to apply any css this is with core html form after that let's say some put more br tag and at the last let's take a button in the button let's define the text submit and it should be the type of also submit define the type uh, this is also submit right so now first of all you can see that we uh, already made a HTML form so now let's make a controller so let's clear the form first of all and just make a controller with the name of user controller let's write the command PHP artisan make controller and controller name like users controller and just hit the enter now you can see that we got a controller inside the app http controllers and let's refresh it in the user controllers right so now controller is ready but without a function we cannot access it directly so just put here function and function name can also be account and in this i'm just going to return something because this is this will function will be uh, show the all submitted data so in the this function we have to accept a parameter and this parameter will be a type of request class so just write here req and just write here simply dollar req and let's call a input function here so that it will just show the all inputs value also in this html form there is a small problem and i will show you that how we can resolve this problem because first of all that you must have to know why this is coming so i will show you the error and after that i will resolve you in the front of you so now you can see that the first two points are completed now let's make a routing and the controller uh, routing for the view and the controller so let's open the web.php file here i have to make the two routing first route i am going to make for view part so just write here user view and you can make you can put any name that you want i am just going to put the name that you can easily understand so um it will just call a user view file right and now let's try to open it is it working or not perfectly so if i'm just going to put here same url you can see that we got a small uh 
form here right after that let's make one more route for controller right so here our method is the post that's why I'm just going to put here post if the method will be get then we can get here according to the method this will be defined right so here I'm just going to write a user controller right this is the route and what it will call it will call users controller uh, at the rate uh, account function at the rate your function name perfect so after that let's uh, match this is this uh, router is same as your action yes that's perfect now let's try to submit the form um, I'm just going to write here some email address fake like anil at the test.com and let's try to submit it like one two three now you can see that uh, okay so I think I just have to let me check the issue uh, yeah actually I have to put here post even I told you but I just forgot that's not an issue so let's try to submit it now you can see that we got uh, another issue which is what is the 419 page expired issue so this is coming because we don't did not put here the token in the laravel we must have to put the uh, csrf token with the form that's why we just have to write here double curly brackets here at the rate csrf underscore field and this is a function so now what it will do if you just want to uh, watch it then you can just simply uh, console it uh, just open your uh, element and let's see what is that now you can see that this is a hidden field and it's have a token as in value right so let's submit it now uh, now this value uh, the issue 419 will not will become so just write here the fake email address and fake password 123456 and let's see now you can see that we got the email address password and token inside our controller so that's for that's it for uh, now in the upcoming videos we will submit this data to the database and we will put the form validation and all right so thanks for watching this video if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel bye bye take care